Okay, so I don't really know what happened, but I guess I lost all the video from my second day in Milan. This is that day. Um, so it's just gonna be photos and voiceover. What you're seeing right now is just stuff that was interesting on my walk in the morning. This is Saturday. This was a famous square that I saw uh, actually later uh, on an audio tour. You can see a statue of Da Vinci in the middle, and then there's some other famous buildings around. We have uh, a theater, I forget, maybe some government buildings, maybe a bank, but some grand stuff. And then there's the entrance to the like famous like little shopping corridor um, and the just outside of that is the Duomo which was my first stop of the day uh, it was amazing it was super cool and super intricate they have like I think it was like a thousand different sculptures on the outside and then on the inside there's like two thousand it looks cool in pictures but it's like stunning in person very large and very very intricate and then across from it, there's some statues, with some reliefs that was mentioned in the auditory. I forget the details on that though. So after seeing the Duomo, I got my ticket and I'm gonna go inside and on top later, but I had a little time. So I thought I would get some gelato during the middle of the day. Uh, there's a vegan place by the castle Sforza and uh, it was pretty good. I forget what two flavors I got, but it was pretty good. So now I'm on top of the Duomo and uh, the view is pretty good. You can get a little bit above the buildings around. Um, it was like 20 bucks or something. Then I'd say it was worth it because you could see Because you can see it because you can see a lot of the um, sculptures from the top too that you couldn't really see on the bottom And then the, there's people at the top of the spires and those um, you can get a lot closer to and it's pretty cool Yeah, and then little details that are just totally inaccessible from the bottom good view I think this is Jesus at the very top. He's in gold decent number of people. It was the weekend not too many Maybe in the summer. And they talked about how they have like a false facade or something. I don't know if you know what it's called, but you know, it looks like a little taller than it actually is. Took the stairs down. The inside was super cool too. So inside they had some very cool tall stained glass windows. Those things on the ceiling look sculpted, but they're actually painted. I learned that on the tour. And then they talked about that line in the floor, which is like the zodiacs or something. And then grand tall entrance. Outside there are some columns, which I think are like, or maybe it's these ones. There's some columns, either those or outside, which are like all one tall piece or something. And it's something notable because it's, uh, I don't know if it's the biggest in Europe or whatever, but something like that. They talked about the uh, stained glass. Some of it was, I think, in different styles. The whole thing was built starting in like the 1300s up until the present, like 1900s or something. Um, and so like there's something of Mussolini somewhere, a little sculpture. It was accelerated a lot when Napoleon took over Italy. He wanted to have like his ceremony in there. Um, so they sped up the construction a bit. Some tombs of people, I forget what they said about them. This is like around the, the head of it. Oh, that guy. Oh, that was really gross. He was skinned and then like that around him is actually his skin, not clothing. That like robe thing. The tomb in there, which we could not get to, unfortunately. I forget what was said with that, but that was notable. That little like baptism thing. And then so the ticket, uh, if you get the like combo pass or whatever, you can go downstairs and see the old ruins. And so this is the site where there used to be a church. Like, cause it was a, a site that was very religiously important. Um, for a long time, so there used to be something there before. And it's pretty cool. They have some old artifacts, some some old pieces, I think, of the church or something. And I enjoyed it a lot. And it also came with access to a museum, which I went to after. But this is the little square outside, and there were some buskers, which was fun. Oh, there was one guy dancing that was kind of funny because it was very ordinary. But, you know, he did it confidently, so I forget why I took a picture of this. Just the name Chow Pizza, maybe. Okay, and then all this confetti on the ground. It turned out the day that I went was the um, carnival. I had no idea, but there was a lot of this on the ground, I think, because of that. My friends who went the next weekend said that it was gone, so. I didn't see any, like, parades or anything, though. I thought I heard that there would be one ending at the Duomo. Oh, that's unfortunate. But there were some balloons, as you can see. Yeah, it got kind of crazy. So this is very cool. It was a model of the um, Duomo in that museum. A lot of old religious stuff, sculptures and reliefs. Some cool stuff, though. That was fun.
for a gallery, so I saw this place. I, f I forget what <laughs> it was. But it's right next to the building where the um, Last Supper is held. And there was free entrance. I went inside. Not to the Last Supper thing. That you gotta book months, months in advance. I don't know where I was when I saw this, but for some reason I thought it was notable. I like the little art on the train. Okay, and then this was my dinner. I went to a, another vegan place, which um, it, it was similar to the last place in the sense that it's like you pick and then, you know, from a few options and then they charge you based on that. It was good. They had no seating that I had to go home. Okay, so they had gnocchi. The gnocchi was really good. Very soft. I guess like a lot of potato and some beer just do too much flour here because it's too wet, but very good gnocchi. They had this vegetable that was, I think, kind of local and that was not bad. And then this thing in the top right was like a... I forget, but it was like a ball of flour, like a dough kind of. I thought it'd be like a meatball, but it was like just flour and then the sauce. And um, it was not as interesting and flavorful as I was expecting. Probably wouldn't recommend that. It was all right. And then I got a tiramisu as a dessert because I heard big things about the tiramisu, which is pretty good. I thought the name was interesting. The Ritz. And then this, you know, the Monopoly guy and the characters just on the walk from the grocery store. That was it.